on the arm for this team. Man, that had to be a welcoming sight to Chris Jans to see those those threes falling on Wednesday night. The young man had an opportunity. He stepped in, uh, had a career high 21 points with five threes. So, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see if he can continue that against the Skyhawks. Well, the Skyhawks control the opening tip. Jordan Sears at the top of the key with the basketball. One of the best players in the OVC. No good that time. Bell claims the rebound. Jimmy Bell gave the Bulldogs a real lift down in the post in the absence of Tolu Smith. Really working the boards. You see him active here early. Hook shot won't go, but... Rebound cleared out of there by Cruz for UT Martin. Bulldogs picking up in man defense early. You can expect that throughout the ball game. Sears on the attack, but has it blocked. Williams will get a look on the second chance. No good, DJ Jeffries yanks it out of there. That was a good pitch ahead by DJ to, to Cam Matthews. You know, Matthew's one of those guys you talk about where do you replace Tolu Smith? Obviously, you don't replace him, but Matthew's even a different position helps offset that loss when he's active. Yeah, well, he, he's such a big, strong athlete that, that can play several positions, uh, very high basketball IQ. So, uh, like you said, he, he can fill in and, and play multiple positions. Desmond Williams working out top over to Cruz now. And then Sears, this is the guy that the Skyhawks would like to have with the basketball. You see him in the mid-range there, and he's good. Young man, the young man can really score the basketball. Average 18 a game last year, first team all-conference OBC. Uh, so they, they like to see him get going early. Three times last year, he went over 30 points. In fact, only in six of 63 career games as he failed to reach double digits. Yeah, he can really score the basketball. And here's a guy the Bulldogs would like to see scored a little bit more. Can't get it to go, but Matthews with the board. Bulldogs doing a good job on the offensive glass. That was a concern of, of Coach Ryan Ritters, keeping those, these guys off the offensive glass once the, the shot is taken. Well, that's one thing that UT Martin did so well in their opening ball game, just absolutely controlled the boards. Ball loose and fought for, and I think we're going to have a foul on Davis. Excuse me, make that fort coming over, trying to tie it up. Bulldogs picking up full court. So we play just over two minutes, two to nothing ball game. A lot of shots have been taken. Few have gone in so far for either team. Really, really good job of breaking the press by UT Martin State. That has to get back and protect that basket if they're going to uh, press full court. Well, you see Muhammad that has the flush to end it. Four to nothing. Skyhawks here early. And there's Fort looking for three, and he's got it. Well, he was hot on Wednesday and brings some fire to start this one. You look like he's still hot, Tommy. So Muhammad with a feed backdoor cut. He found Williams for the lay-in. That, that was nice action by UT Martin. They saw State overplaying the screen in action, and he uh, made made a nice undercut, and they, they hit him on the undercut. Here's Fort this time from the mid-range. Can't get it to go. And it'll be Bulldog basketball over the inline. The Bulldogs are going to go to a substitution here. Josh Hubbard will check in. As Deshaun Davis comes out of the ball game. Hubbard is one of those kids that can get it going quick, too, so we'll, we'll see. Fort elevates. Good. Well, Fort gave Mississippi State fans a lot to be excited about three nights ago and doing the same here today. To call the block on that. He was, in, he was in a restricted area, I think. Well, and one of the things you're going to see more of are crowds upset this season over charge calls. There is a much bigger emphasis on being set before the plant foot. Let's, Let's take a look. Let's see. Oh, wow. He's, 
All right, under any interpretation, it's going to be set to me. Jordan Sears will get to the free throw line. He's been really good there in his career, an 80% free throw shooter. So after the substitutions, only one starter on the floor for Mississippi State right now. That's Matthews. Of course, with that media timeout, sometimes you can buy a little extra rest at about the 1630 mark. Hubbard wants to shoot it long and good. And the foul. The young man can flat out score the basketball. Scored over 4,300 points in high school. Let's take a look. Just creates, elevates, nails it, and he'll get himself to the free throw line. And one. Well, Charlie, one thing is for certain, the Bulldogs have addressed their shooting woes from last season uh, with, with, the, with the addition of a couple guys, so. How about that? Starting this ball game, three out of five from three-point range with the Bulldogs. Shot from Mendoza doesn't go, but loose ball claimed back by the Skyhawks. A perilous turnover by Matthews. He did a good job of securing the rebound and turned it over. Great pressure. Great pressure by the Bulldogs. These guys, they just get into you so hard on the defensive end it just force you to, to make tough passes and they create a turnover there well sean jones steps in and bulldog winter sports defender flying at him but just elevates and makes he really shoot the basketball man he's, he's been a great addition to this bulldog team a much needed shot in the arm and what you're seeing from mississippi state right now entirely you new unit than that that started the ball game Hubbard will work the point. Andy Taylor will play the wing. See Guy Chole who's checked in for the Bulldogs. Taylor can really shoot the ball to the Marshall transfer. Scrum on the floor. Call the foul on the Bulldogs. <laughs> Yeah, they'll get that on Jaquan Scott. Scott dribbling a little too much, perhaps, turns that one over and then compounds the harm. Jordan Sears working up top. He's already got four dishes to Muhammad. Won't go, Scott claims it. There's Hubbard. Can't get it to go. He had the four-point play earlier, but he draws the foul from Sebastian Mendoza. I thought he had another one coming in. The ball looked like it was going in from our view here, uh, Charlie. So Hubbard will get to the free throw line. He'll have three shots coming. Now, first one, no good. They'll have two more. There's a little long on that one. Now, that one's secure. The Bulldogs expand the lead, 11-8. So two out of three for Hubbard expands the Bulldog lead to 12-8. Here at the 15 minute mark. Marcus, you see a lot of guys getting an opportunity, but if they want to stay out there for Chris Jans, they'll have to defend. You got to play defense if you're going to play for Chris Jans. They, uh, they were one of the best defensive teams in the country last year. These guys take pride in, in taking you out of your out of your action. So if you don't play, you got to guard. Nice Great pass from pass. Hubbard. 
Great pocket pass by Josh Hubbard. Good finish by the big freshman from Atlanta, Guy Cho. Take a look at this by Cho, because one of the concerns you'd have about Cho is just strength. But he shows some power right here. He did, did a good job of gathering himself and took the contact and was able to put the ball in and draw the foul. Bulldogs get their 11th player now in the ballgame, and Adrian Myers. So Chris Jans spending the bench nearly in its entirety here early. Now they're going to pick up. Yep, full on a court. Two, 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 one, full court press. We'll see if UT Mark and Hamlet will break it. That's an excellent job of handling the pressure by UT, UT Mark. Well, they found Myers who knocks it down for 15. Taylor to Adrian Myers, not there at all. It was a good look by Myers. He was just a tad off. The state has to be careful with this full court pressure they've given up a couple of layups and a couple of open shots. So this gym, he's fall, he falls back into his man to man defense now. A fall away won't go, but it's going to be tapped out of bounds by Mississippi State. Myers was coming from the backside trying to get the rebound. Had to go out of bounds. Jalen Myers will trigger it in bounds for the Skyhawks. Gets it to Muhammad who has the pass go awry. That was an excellent try by the, by the Bulldogs. Forced to turn over to see if they can convert on the other end. Hubbard off the screen. Not there, but Choll kept it alive, but running is Jeffries. Kobe Jeffries has it blocked by Hubbard. And now controls the basketball quickly into the front court on the attack. That was a great defensive block by Josh Hubbard. He's small in nature, but a joke, he went up and, and, and made a good block. And that will be the easiest basket that Sears will get all day. Jordan Sears flushes it. Has his sixth point of the ball game. Jones from three. Won't go to rebound across the inline. DJ Jeffries back in the ball game now for Mississippi State. What a, what a block by Josh Hubbard. Boy, Hubbard. All kinds of athleticism. Yes, sir. He, he, he's, a, he's a nicely built young man uh, to be a freshman uh, in college. Sears will leave it off for Myers, not there. Now Taylor pushing it in transition. Taylor couldn't get the three to go. We got a whistle away from the basketball. I think that was Jeffries fighting for the rebound. Yeah, he slung the guy down as he was going towards the offensive boards. It's been a revolving door at the scorer's table today for Mississippi State, just checking guys in and out. Yeah, I think Coach Jans is trying to find a find a unit that can that can get some stops and, and get something going on the other end. So he, he's rotating them in and out right now. Neither team shooting it terribly well. UT Martin five of fourteen. Mississippi State's taken 14 and made just four. Three of those, though, have been from long. Another great defensive possession by the Bulldogs. Now well, they're going to call a tie ball theirs. So Jimmy Bell had tied it up on the way up and 
the Bulldogs do a good job of forcing the ball baseline, and they force them into a, uh, a help defender, calls a jump ball at the end of the shot clock. Matthews wants a three. Can't get it. Let's see. It looks like they're going to get the foul on Fussell. Well, Christian Fussell will be called for the foul. Fifth team foul on UT Martin. Bulldogs have been whistled for four. Oh, nice. What a strong move by Cam Matthews. That's, that's what he does, man. He puts the ball down. And he can straight line drive with the best, with the best in the country. Looks. Let's talk about one of the guys helping fill in for that role. Jimmy Bell hasn't scored yet, but three rebounds in the basketball game. The other thing that jumps out to me, they're willing to run through offense through him, let him handle the basketball and pass. Yeah, well, he's, he's, a, he's a fairly skilled big guy. Uh, he had a great game against Arizona State, 13-9. and nine. Uh, But he's just a veteran guy that knows how to play, and they, they, trust, they trust him uh, running the offense through him. So. We saw Kobe Jeffries for the Skyhawks working the basketball over to Muhammad. Trying to size up Bell, but Bell defends it nicely. Boy, look at that Bulldog defense just locking up UT Martin. And a shot clock violation. Man. These guys, they just make it hard for you to get into your actions, and before you know it, you got five on the shot clock, and you got to go tr try to go make a play. And you can tell right there it's a situation where the Skyhawks thinking they've got a guy in Muhammad a little bit quicker than Bell, but Bell defended that well. Did a great job of moving his feet and, and, and stopping the drive and, uh, you know, forcing a, a shot clock violation. Bulldogs working around. Jones wanted the look. Now going to attack. Got it to go. That was a great job of Jones not selling for the three-point shot. Gave a good shot fake. Nice straight line drive. Created finish at the rim. You talk about players progressing from year one to year two. You see Jones willing to look off the three, then go on the attack. That, that's improvement right there. That's improvement. He, he realized that they, they missed the last four or five three-point shots and needed something going towards the basket. Did a really good job of driving it and using his athleticism to finish at the rim. Now Justice Jackson, who had the big opening game, had 18 points and 18 minutes of play for UT Martin in their opener. Yep, the transfer from Hawaii. Uh, that had a good game in their first outing. Steps up and knocks down two free throws there. UT Martin picking up full court. Let's see if the Bulldogs can handle it. Yeah, now he's somewhere to go with it, and they, Matthews throws it away. Yeah, they, they didn't have it. But D.J. Jeffries gets back, alters the shot, and now the Bulldogs are going to get up the floor quickly with Matthews. All right, a little bit shaky at times, but he got it where it needed to go. Yeah, it, it wasn't pretty, but it was effective. That was a really good job of Matthews being patient. Saw Jones cutting along the baseline, hit him on the back uh, on the baseline cut for an easy basket. Well, you talked earlier about Jones being willing to pass up the three. Matthews not forcing a shot there, instead sharing it with a teammate. Three doesn't go. Rebound to Curry. Now Jackson from long. It's not there. Bell claims the board. Uh, Let's take a look at Cal Matthews. Has three guys and two splits them, thought about it, but then gave it up to Jones. Excellent pass by Matthews. Matthews, he's an underrated passer for his size. Like he he, he can bring it off the defensive glass and, and normally make, makes a good pass on the other end. Davis at the free throw line gets it to go. Shooting 
Yeah, when Ryan Ritter took over as the head coach at UT Martin a couple of years ago, had no returning starters, no returning players. Yeah, he, he's done a good job of building that program. Uh, he's in his third year. I think they won eight games his first year, won 19 last year. So uh, they're, they're definitely trending in the right direction with Coach Ritter. Well, and it's somewhat typical of college sports, not just basketball now, has a much older team, a lot of transfers on this team. And has just one freshman, no sophomores. Sears back to the free throw line, able to convert. Sears, by the way, with seven points so far, is now eclipsed a thousand points in his career. And that's quite a feat for, for a college basketball player. When, when you score up a thousand points in Division One basketball, you're, you're putting the ball in the hole. So congratulations to the young man. That's quite a feat. So just under 10 to play. Bulldogs with a six-point lead over the Skyhawks. Back door feed. Yeah, what a play. That was perfect execution by the Bulldogs. Got Matthews coming off the back screen. Perfect pass, and he threw it down. Oh, it's beautiful when you can see that one setting up, and Matthews just catches and flushes. Yep. Beautiful execution. Jackson off to Sears. The rainbow. Listen, this, this guy can fill it up. The Bulldogs have to locate him and find him. And take away those open three-point looks. Well, a guy who didn't score much at all in the opening ball game will leave it off. Jones can't get it to go. And the rebound is claimed by Jacob Cruz. You see the ball movement. Bulldogs reacting well, however. And one thing Mississippi State's done, they defended around the realm really well. Well, they defend all over the court, Charlie. You know, but with their size and athleticism, they try to force you baseline and try to force you into another defender at the rim. Do a good job there. Take a look at the drive here in the Bulldogs. Just a pair of defenders coming in Bell and Jeffries. Layup won't go. Bulldogs can't clear it out, but now it's tipped away. Oh. And Matthews, excuse me, Sean Jones just went crashing. That was a great hustle. Great, great, hustle by, great hustle by Jones. Jackson able to narrowly get it off and avoid the five count. These guys pressure every pass, every dribble. Well, Sears goes on the attack. Can't get it to go, and the Bulldogs quickly in transition. Chol a chance to work around the basket. Got it to go. What a nice move by the big freshman. He took his time. May have gotten away with a travel there, but hey, finished fin with a nice jump hook to the middle. Jackson wants a turn. Oh, I thought it might have been goaltending. It was close. It was close, but hey, good. That was a good defensive play by, by Jones. And that's going to be a foul as the reach in on Matthews. Well, and that's. It would have been scarier. 7.27 to go, and Cam Matthews will be at the free throw line for Mississippi State. Looking for his third point of the ball game and gets it. Actually, make that his fifth. And now a sixth. The dogs in full court pressure again. Let's see if they can get back and make these guys score in the half court. 
So did a good job of taking away an easy basket there. Well, Justice, Justice Jackson and Jordan Spears, two guys difficult to defend out top. Bulldogs have done about as well as anybody can here early. You see Spears wants to shoot from long, can't get it to go, and Cho claims the board. Oh, excellent position on the defensive rebound by Cho. And Hubbard on the attack has it blocked by Cruz, and I think it's going to be off Cho and go the other way. It was a good hustle by Cho, though. Just unfortunate bounce for, for him, but re really good hustle. And you see Sears with the basketball. He leads all scorers in the ballgame. He's got 11 points. And the nice feed in the flush by Curry. That was a great pass and a great baseline cut by Curry. That was good action by UT Martin. Uh, Curry was third in the OBC last year in field goal percentage, and you can help your numbers with looks like that. Now, Mississippi State, they went to double the post game. They didn't have any rotation on the weak side and gave up a, a, a baseline cut and dunk. Hubbard off the screen, rolls off the iron. Curry clears the board. Oh, the crossover and the attack that couldn't finish. Mid-range rolls off. This Taylor couldn't get it to go. Yeah, they got to find a way to get Taylor going. He, he, he's a good player. He just hasn't found his footing yet in these first, first game and a half so far. You got to find, a, find this guy. And I think we're going to have a foul on the offside. Let's see who this one's against. I think they're going to get Chol here. Yep. So that'll get Muhammad to the free throw line. Coach Ritter said that he went into the transfer portal to get some size on his roster after last year and got, got big Issa Muhammad from New Mexico State and said he's been a, been a great addition to the team. Big, strong kid from Atlanta. And he was a contributor for New Mexico State, 9.8 rebound kind of guy. Cruz can't buy one right now, and the Bulldogs pushing it down the floor. Let's see where the score is going to come from with this lineup on the floor. Well, there's a place Bulldogs would like to find it, but Taylor hadn't been able to find the range so far. All right, Bulldogs missed their last four shots and haven't scored in about two and a half minutes. Meanwhile, UT Martin won of their last nine. Another great baseline cut by Curry. You can see that that's a that's a staple of his UT Martin offense. Uh, if they catch the defender looking at the ball, they'll cut baseline. They, they've got stayed about two or three times with that action. So that'll get Curry to the free throw line. He was a 65% shooter a year ago. Bulldogs back to the substitution patterns. They played 11 guys in the ball game. Ten of those have played four minutes or more. Yeah, Coach Jans, he's throwing a lot of bodies out there to try to find the right, uh, find the right unit. UT Martin has, has to be pleased where they are at this stage of the game. Down five with five left in the first half. A lot of contact, but Jones plays through it, gives it to Matthews, who went on the attack, drew the foul. That was a nice drive by Matthews. Like I said, he, he's, he's one of the best drivers. When he, when he put the ball down, straight line drive, athletic finisher, that's, that's one of the best things that he does. I mean, the second foul on Cruz, the 
Third player for the Skyhawks in the ball game with two fouls here in the first half. Jackson, Cruz, and Myers all with two for Mississippi State. Fort played just four minutes. He's got two fouls. State picking up full court again. Let's see if they can contain these, these guys and not give up an easy, easy look at the round. What's the turnover? Well, Sears got about 85 feet of it. And yeah. Then it turned bad on him. But now the Bulldogs nearly give it back. Curry denying in the passing lanes. And now the careless pass, and Muhammad's got the run out. And he missed it. And it's blocked. So not aesthetically pleasing right now. UT Martin on the attack still won't go. Matthews running up to Davis, but the pass goes behind him. Will slow things down. Jones will look. Missed it. All. Well, scratch the last minute and a half from the highlight reel, but these two teams playing hard. Yeah, we haven't seen the ball go into basket in a while until right now. <laughs> well, that's one of the things Deshaun Davis can give you right there. When you need a contested 10-footer, he's your guy. He's really good at getting to his spot right around in the lane about 10 or 12 feet. Good, strong point guard that can finish uh, mid-range game. Muhammad with a feed inside to Myers, and he gets it to go with the left hand. That's the second time that UT Martin has hurt State when, they, when, they, when they've gone to double the post. Uh, the big fellas made a, two good passes out of that double team has led to two baskets. Jalen Myers played some ball down at Hines Community College here in the state of Mississippi. Yeah, he had a really good year down at Hines. Jones can't find the range, and Curry will clear the rebound. I don't know if Coach Jans is happy with these guys shooting this many threes. I know you got to find other ways to score, but they're, they're, they're shooting a lot of three-point shots. Well, Bulldogs started three of five. They've missed nine in a row from long range. But they lead this fast. A lot of shots to get there. Oh, yeah. Well, they're they're going to force. They're going to play good defense and, and, and force you to take tough shots. And uh, the Skyhawks, they're shooting 25%. You know, so they're they, – State has really guarded the ball well. Um, but Sears, he's found a way to get 11 points uh, throughout this whole deal so far. Let's see if they double the post here again. Well, Sears, who we mentioned, feeds it off to Muhammad. He decided not to double. Tries the cross-court pass. Bulldogs tip it away and out of bounds. Okay. Well, State, State made the adjustment then by not doubling the post since they've given up two baskets off the, off the double. Uh, before. Well, Sears that tied up around the rim. These guys don't give you anything easy at the rim, man. Like every, every time UT Martin drives to the rim, they have to finish over two or three defenders. Well, Sears has tried to go on the attack a lot here, but the Bulldogs, as you say, Defending it with a number of guys. It did end to Muhammad. Here's Jackson for three. Missed it all. Had to hurry the shot. Shot clock was running down. Hubbard back in the game for State. Gets it in the front court. Jeffries wants to attack the rim. Can't get it to go, but draws the foul. And that, that's what he has to do more of. He, he's so talented and athletic. He has to go put pressure on the rim, not settle for three-point shots, find a way to, to get some easy baskets and get to the free throw line. That was a good job by Jeffers attacking him. So Jeffries with the free throw able to get it to go. It's his first point of the ball game. Has another coming. Not there, and Myers will claim the rebound for the Skyhawks. Here's nice feed in the corner to Myers. Oh, and they're going to get Curry stepping out of bounds. 
Stepped out of bounds on the sideline. You see that a lot in college basketball now. These guys, you, you think they would know, you know, where the, where the out of bounds line is, but you, you, you see a lot of that now. Guys stepping out of bounds with their shot preparation. It was a nice pass by Myers who drew the defenders and had the open man. It was a great, great pass. Great baseline drive, great kick out pass. Jeffries for three, not there. Hubbard with the rebound, now off the glass, got it to go. That's an excellent floater by Hubbard. Good job of getting the offensive rebound and attacking. That's the best time to attack after the offensive rebound. Was able to go in with a nice little floater off the glass. Muhammad over to Jackson, good. That was a tough shot by Jackson. Hubbard had good defense, hand in his face. Jackson just made a better move offensively. Justice Jackson had the big night, opening night for UT Martin as his fourth, fourth point there. That was an excellent pass by Jeffries. And now gets it back. And makes rewarded by being unselfish. Jeffries gave it up, got it back, and knocked it down. And the Bulldogs break a string of misses from three-point range. That was They had missed ten in a row. Yeah, that, that, was, that was great uh, unselfish play right there. Both of those guys could have shot the ball earlier in the possession. But they both turned down shots and ended up getting a great look. Bulldogs forced a turnover, got three on one. Matthews with oh. the power jam. State turning defense into offense. And now Bulldogs have expanded their lead to 13, just 10 to play. Sears. Will handle it out front. Gets the pick from Cruz. Now drives. He falls down. It's loose on the floor. And now they're going to get Cruz for the foul, and he is going to express some level of displeasure. Yeah, that's, a, that's a bad foul by Cruz. You're fouling 90 feet from the basket when you're in the bonus. That's, 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 not, that's not a good play by Cruz. I think Coach Ritter think that was some contact on the drive by Sears as well, but they didn't call it. But you can't compound that with a foul by, by, by Cruz. Well, the reaction from Cruz is, well, to express some level of disagreement, I suppose. Sean Jones will get a look at the line. Can't get it to go. Well, it's 10 out of 15 at the free throw line. Jones will get one more look. And he got that one. So the heave will head to the student section. And the Bulldogs will have a 14 point lead at the half behind the big play of Cam Matthews. And heavily last minute instruction across the way. See if they run some action to try to get Sears something going to the rim on his first possession. Same group that started the ball game. In for both these teams. Muhammad in the corner working against Bell. Gives it up to Williams to Sears. No. Not, not the star Coach Ritter wanted, I'm sure. Well, you set up a play to come out, start the half, and that one didn't. Didn't contact much of anything other than the floor. Here's the Bulldogs' turn. Matthews got it to Davis, who wants to drive. Matthews keeps it alive and now gets the layup. Matthews being active around the rim. The ball got deflected on the drive by Davis, but Matthews is there to clean it up and get his 12th point of the afternoon. Now, Muhammad driving against Bell is going to pick up the foul. And here, you saw a minute ago, ball was deflected, but Matthews stayed with it. Really good job of having a nose for the ball by Matthews. There to clean it up, get him an easy two. 
Muhammad gets it to go. A little tough shot by the big guy. Big guy had to end up shooting a mid-range pull-up jump shot, which is not an easy shot for a big guy like that, but he uh, found a way to put it in somehow. Davis ball on the floor. It's a turnover. Curry's going to clear it out. Quickly to the other end on the attack. Gets it to go. Ooh, what a move by Curry. He attacked one on three. Find a cre- or found a crease in that defense and made an uh, athletic finish at the rim. Good move by Curry. Davis wants the three-point. Look, and he got it. That was good execution by State. Davis coming off the screen in action. Good pass by Jeffries in rhythm three. Knocked down for Davis. So Rams Davis knocks down the three to get the Bulldogs their first made three of the second half. Cruz, the look in and out. Davis quickly down the floor. Looking for Fort. He wants to shoot. Why not? This guy can really shoot the basketball. Every time he lets it go, it looks like it's going in. Well, I don't know what he had for breakfast, but share it with the rest of them. (laughs) The dog's off and running. Sears tried to force one, wouldn't go. Fort (laughs) maybe got a little carried away that time, but now Curry's going to step out of bounds. Oh, no. Now they're going to point it the other way. Let's take a look here. There you see the three-point shot from Rams Davis. And then Fort just able to step into one. Well, we were blocked out. Couldn't see who stepped out of bounds contacting the basketball. But Curry, who protested the initial call, pointing it to State, successful in his plea. Desmond Williams back to Muhammad. And Curry, I think he's going to step out of bounds. It's the second time today he's done that. I'm telling Charlie, I, I see it. You see it more often than not now. These guys, when they catch the ball on their sideline, the, the foot preparation is, is not there, and they end up stepping out of bounds a lot. Uh, Davis tried to feed it inside to Jimmy Bell. He couldn't go get it. That's because he was being held down by Issa Muhammad. That was a good job of running the isolation play for Bell. It cleared it out for him. He had great position. And they had to foul him to keep him from scoring. The fourth to Davis, corner three. Not there. That was a good execution of the out under play. Got a wide open shot for Davis. Just could knock it down. Good execution though. Well, Curry is going to be fouled. On the drive to the basket, he'll get a couple of shots. Foul will be on D.J. Jeffries. That'll be his second personal. That was a good drive by Curry. That's, that's, what he, that's one of his strengths, driving the ball to the basket. He's not a great, not a great shooter. So the scout report on him is give him, give him a gap and uh, contain his dribble penetration, but he still finds a way to get to the rim and, and draw the foul. Good job on, by Curry. So a couple of free throws from Curry. Tighten this thing up a little bit. Bulldogs lead it by 16. 16.51 to play. Sears will pick up full court on Davis. Warhawks Warhawks have gone zone. Offside board by Bell. Keeps it alive. Fort can't get it to go, but he's fouled. Well, that's a situation right there where the Skyhawks understanding who's shooting the basketball, trying to close out and make contact. That's what happens when you when you make a couple of those guys start closing out a little harder. 
And that time they, they clip Ford on the shot. He's lining up for three. As Ford couldn't get the first one to go. So earlier in the ball game, Hubbard fouled on a three-pointer. Missed the first, made the next two. Ford will try to repeat that here. And he does. So Ford in limited minutes, though, now in double figures. With his 10th and 11th point, Sears attacks. Want go, Guy Choll has the board. Really good defense by Jeffries. He used his size. Well, that time, Rams Davis able just to step into the three-pointer. That was a great catch and shoot in the rhythm three by, by Davis. Really good transition action by the Bulldogs. Kirby with a corner three. Yeah, line drive that one in. Yeah. Like I said, the, the scout report on him is driver. They, he's not a, not a great shooter, but he stepped up and knocked that one down. Good shot by Curry out of that corner. Fort on the attack, but gives it up to Davis in the mid-range. Wanted the foul as he went to the floor, got nothing. Now Muhammad wanted to work on Chol, couldn't do it. And now I think we're going to have a goal 10. That was a nice drive by Dez Williams. So Williams attacks the goal, gets the goaltending. But the couple good looks in rhythm threes, and they, they jumped up and knocked him down. Really good start shooting the basketball for the Bulldogs in the second half. Warhawks pick up full court. Bulldogs do a good job. Now they're back in zone. Let's see how the Bulldogs attack the zone. Just watching, it feels like Mississippi State's done pretty well handling the full court pressure. The zone, though, can create some problems now and then. Oh. Now, Joel tried the feed to Matthews, and that one a little tall for even for him. That was a tough pass by Joel. Probably should have just kicked that one out to the perimeter. So here's Des Williams. Has it blocked by Jones. That's good defense by Sean Jones. Fort looking for some separation, can't get it. Now able to reclaim the basketball after it went off Matthews. Davis had to get one up in a hurry. Shot clock was winding down, couldn't get it to go. That was a good defensive possession by the Skyhawks. They forced the Bulldogs a, a late shot in the, in, in the clock. Nice move by Sears. <laughs> Sears a jab and turned around. Yeah, Sears is a shifty guard, man, that scores a lot of different ways. Oh, and the contact at the rim. They got it to Choll. And that one is going to be on Jacob Cruz. And that's going to be the fourth on him. Let's take a look at Sears. Mm. Nice move by Sears. Showed the big fella the ball. He bit on the, on the fake. Nice turnaround jump shot by Sears. Joel, after the foul, will get a couple of looks at the free throw line. Knocks down the first. Bulldogs will get Andrew Taylor and Josh Hubbard in the ballgame. But Joel has given the Bulldogs some valuable minutes off the bench. He, he's come in and uh, moved his feet well defensively, rebounded the ball, and scored around the rim. And ten minutes of play for Chol. He has six looking for seven points. Got it. Has three rebounds as well. And that's what you talked about coming in this ball game with Tolu Smith out. Bulldogs trying to piece it together and 
The combination of Bell and Scholl has been plenty here today. A great pass by Sears. Sears got into the teeth of that Bulldog defense there and drew the defenders. Made a nice drop off pass to Fossil, who's at the line for two. Fossil has played only limited minutes here today. Transfer from Middle Tennessee. Also, he, he's, a, he's a young guy who hadn't played a whole bunch. He, he was at Middle Tennessee for two years, didn't see a lot of action there. So he, he, hadn't, he hadn't played a lot of college basketball, so he's still trying to find his footing. You know, one thing he gives, Coach Ryan Ritter is 6'10". That's right, and that's what Coach, Coach Ritter said. He, he needed to address his lack of size, so he went into the portal and got Fossil, got Issa Muhammad, and that, that definitely helped uh, the Skyhawks with, with the size issue. Free throw on the way, it's good. So Taylor in the ball game for Mississippi State. That's a guy the Bulldogs would like to see get in the scoring column. See if they can heat him up. He's a guy that can flat shoot the basketball, but he, struggled here early. He should, he should get a look against this zone here. Let, let's see. Let's see if the ball comes back around to him and see if he gets an open look. Jeffries tried the interior pass, and it's pass. on a run out, and Curry couldn't handle the pass. Sears made the feed. Curry couldn't catch and convert. Pass was a little behind Curry then, so that, that, was, that was on Sears right there. Uh, watching Jones there, see if he had drugged that back foot. No call. And he will go on the attack. Oh, it won't go, but Chole is there. And I think Chole's going to get back to the free throw line yes. after a foul. Yeah, Jones did a really good job of penetrating that zone. Missed the bunny at the rim, but Kai Joel was there for the offensive rebound and got fouled. All right, one thing we've seen, Sean Jones, the ability to attack the basket. I know it doesn't go, but you have to like the fact that he isn't just settling for three-point looks. And that's, that's what the zone defense is designed to do. It's designed to make you pass the ball around the perimeter and shoot threes. But Jones did a really good job of putting the ball on the, on the deck, attacking the rim, and creating an opportunity for his team. Well, Chol got every bit of the iron, but got it to fall. Big fella has nice touch to be, to be a big guy. And how about that? Five attempts at the line today. They've all been good for Chole. Yep. When your big guys can make free throws, that make life a lot simpler for you. 17 out of 23 at the line for the Bulldogs. Sears attacks. Won't go, but we're going to have a foul call. Let's see. They'll get Jones for the foul. Nobody for Mississippi State has more than three fouls. Matthews, the lone person at that number. Cruz for the Skyhawks has four. Sears, the nice move. This catch can flat out score the basketball. He had a mismatch with Guy Chole on him. Did a good job of driving, getting him off balance. Showed him the basketball, created finish at the rim. State will see that zone again, and now the nice pass. Jones leaves it off for Chole, who finishes it. Excellent action against the zone. Jones came off the ball screen, saw it, uh, guy Chole on the roll, easy layup. Sears no, but long shots lead to long rebounds. Now we're going to have a discussion. I think we'll have a timeout. In just 12 minutes of play. The young fellas, he's come in. He's giving them a boost off that bench. We, we spoke uh, before the program saying that they would have to play that position by committee. First game, it was Jimmy Bell. Today is Guy Cho. So. Live goes to Muhammad. He'll get it in the corner. Mendoza couldn't buy the basket.
Jeffries has been quiet again today. Let's see if the Bulldogs try to do something about that. Get him active late. Bell's back in the ball game. Powers through the contact. Well, if you can hear the sounds behind us, they have moved the students, or at least some contingent of them, closer to the floor. Bell gets the free throw to go. We'll let you draw your own conclusions about those torture devices. Really impressed with the, the Bulldog big guys shooting free throws. Like they, 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 shot, they shot the ball well from the free throw line of big guys. Can you avoid the yeah, announcer jinx? How about that? <laughs> yeah, you look at it. Matthews, four of five. Choll, five of five. Now Bell, two for two at the line. On the attack is Myers. The Bulldogs, they've, they've given up layups or fouls when they pick up full court. I know three or four times today, so I know that's something Coach Jans, uh, he's, he's going to look at uh, when he goes back and break this film down and see what's going on with the full court pressure. All right, so let me ask you this from a coaching standpoint. Uh, you know, Rick Patino used to talk about we're going to pick up full court, and the key is we have to cause more turnovers than we give up layups. Right. Isn't, isn't that a certain – that's just something you got to live with a little bit, right? Oh, oh it is. Yeah, but, but you got to have the turnovers but you to balance it out. There right? you go. Yeah, yeah. The Bulldogs, they're not turning the Skyhawks over, so uh, the, the layups and the fouls are, are overriding that, that, that myth. In fact, neither team has turned it over. Ten times, just nine for the Skyhawks, eight for the Bulldogs. Myers gets the free throw. Eleven minutes to go in the basketball game. State leads at 62-45, but it feels like an important three-minute stretch here until the next media break. Hubbard needs to be bailed out. Taylor, nowhere to go, but got it to four. Now gets it back. Three. No. That's that one short. Now Mendoza to the front court. So that's, a, that's a great look for a really good shooter. So as a coach, you'll live with that. Jackson to Jeffries. And now Mendoza again. This no good. Muhammad with a little bit of push able to get the rebound. And the putback, so the second chance points for the Skyhawks, and it's a 15-point game. You got two big boys banging down there with Bill and, Hunt and, and Muhammad there. Muhammad won that one, though, with the offensive rebound and the putback. Bell wanted to work. That time he was trying to isolate on Muhammad. Didn't get the foul call, but... The out of bounds of the Skyhawks, and things are uh, we're having some uh, fairly candid discussions with each other. We got a little jawing going on between Jimmy Bell and Issa Muhammad. Got Cho back in the game. Let Bell cool down a little bit. Yeah, probably a good decision. Right. Bell was <laughs> he'd been heated for a couple of possessions. Right. Bulldogs have to shoot it. Hubbard can't get it to go. But Fort tying it up, getting on the floor, but Skyhawks out running. That was a great hustle by both teams. Jackson to Muhammad can't get it to go, but he'll get the foul. Skyhawks have cut it to 15, and Muhammad will get to the free throw line and can't get it to go. Skyhawks have been good at the free throw line today, 13 of 15. Yep. Just their third miss there in 16 trips now. And the 
four. take the air out of it, but want to find a good shot. This is the best they'll have to offer. But Choll able to get the rebound. Let's see if he walked. No, he was pushed. So State just one out of their last seven shooting the basketball. In the last couple of possessions, State hadn't, hadn't been able to get any, uh, any quality looks. They've Going to the end of the shot clock and end up shooting contested threes late in the clock. I'm sure that's not what Coach Jans want uh, at, this, at this state of the game. The look for Hubbard. The make for Hubbard. Excellent execution of the out-of-bounds play. Uh, they, they went over that this morning and shoot around. Hubbard jumps up and knocks down the corner three. Yeah, Great execution by the Bulldogs. He's now got 11. Myers wants to look from three. Can't get it. Fork with the board. A lot of contact out front. Fort got it off to Hubbard. Wants the screen. Tough pass. That's a Let's take a look, Marcus, at this out of bounds play that got Josh Hubbard to look. Yeah, really good execution. Good screen by Guy Chole. Hubbard does a good job of setting this guy up, coming off, knocking down the corner three. Great execution by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs play it in. Hubbard works off the screen from Choll to take the inbounds pass. Kicks it out to Matthews. Thought about it. Let's it go. And we're going to have a foul call. You see Martin to grab the rebound, but I think they'll get Choll, I believe, on the foul. Well, they're going to get that on Fort, so that'll be his third. So now both Fort and Matthews with three fouls each. Jeffries transfer out of UAB played a couple of seasons for Andy Kennedy over in Birmingham able to knock down a couple of free throws for his first two points here today and Davis will work against Jeffries out front Skyhawks back in that zone let's see what kind of Shot the dogs can get off corner three wide open. Good execution. Well, nice look. And Sean Jones. Dave, Davis made the extra pass. He could have shot that ball, but he, he, made, he made an unselfish play. Got it to uh, Davis uh, Jones in that corner for a wide open three. There you see Davis grabbing the rebound quickly down the floor. Here, Chris Jans telling his team to move the basketball. They do. Rams can't get it to go. We're going to have a foul, I think, on Matthews trying to grab the rebound. Yeah. That'll be his fourth. And that'll take us to the with four personal fouls is going to head to the bench. We'll always get Adrian Myers in the ball game. Hey, that's one of the things, Marcus, we mm -hmm. talk all the time about the depth at the five position. Mm -hmm. Who can back up Tolo? Right. Who can back up Cam Matthews is a big question, too. Oh, it is. I mean, but 
like I said, State has a lot of depth over there. They can they can put Myers in. Jones can, Jones can back up Matthews. You know, so they, they got a lot of uh, parts that they can mix and match. You know, which which is a good thing for a coach to have. A fussle with a couple of free throws. That's the Bulldog lead to 17. State will have Myers, as we mentioned in the ball game, passed up the shot. Now Choll with four. Couldn't get it to go, but the Bulldogs will get it back in the reset. Hubbard not waiting. Josh Hubbard from way downtown. This pet can really shoot the basketball. The shot clock reset. Hubbard wanted none of that. Put it in the air, knocks it down. Charlie, when you score over 4 to 300 points in high school, you don't worry about a shot clock reset. <laughs> Sean Jones claims the board, gets it to Hubbard. Mm. And wanted to dish it to Myers, left it behind him. Here comes Sears, and he'll be fouled. Oh, Rams able to claim the rebound, got it to Hubbard, let it go. Knew it all the way. Yep. Beautiful form. Nothing but net. Jordan Sears back at the free throw line. At the end of the day, Sears has gotten his points for the Skyhawks, and you somewhat know he will. The Bulldogs holding him to just 5 of 17 from the field and 1 of 6. And Chris Jans will live that stat line all day. He can, he can get 15 points if he's going to take him 17 shot attempts. Yeah, 1 out of 6 from 3-point range. Yeah, and yeah. He, he's had he's had a tough time finishing at the rim over these bigger, more athletic uh, Bulldogs. So that, that, that's been a problem for him. Free throw not there. He missed a couple. Bell had grabbed that rebound and. Although he hasn't done much in the scoring column, he has nine rebounds in the game. Hubbard wants another look. It's a great look by Hubbard. Couldn't get it to go down. Curry trying to work from the wing. Oh, my. But this guy, he's going to try to get to the rim at all costs. Well, a hop, skip, and a jump <laughs> along the way, but able to get it to go. Creative finish by Curry on the drive. The Rams got to a spot, couldn't get the shot to go. Yeah, left, left it a little short, but that's, that's what he likes to do against smaller guard. Use that nice body of his to get to the. Uh, get to the center of that paint and just jump up and shoot over those smaller guards. Just left the short on that one. Hubbard will trigger it in. Myers, and, well, that got side of the glass. And there's Cruz able to pick up his first points of the ball game. That was, that was, a, that was a bad shot by, uh, by Myers, and that, that set up the poor transition defense by the Bulldogs. As they say, the first pass of a fast break is a bad shot. shot. Yeah. Hubbard, elbow, got it. He's got him play like a freshman, Charlie. Well, Sears wants to play from long range. Been a tough, tough evening for Sears, but he jumped up and knocked that one down from about 23. That was the key. Just need to back up. That's it. <laughs> Hubbard's got it going. Let's see if let's see if they give him the ball in this possession. 
Davis will take it. Not there, Bell with his 10th board. Now powers it in. Jimmy Bell got on the offensive glass, got the putback. Excellent work on the offensive board by Jimmy Bell. Shot goes up. Bell chases the ball, detects the flight of the ball, gathers himself, put it in, and the foul. You know, Jimmy Bell has a chance to be one of the impact transfers in this league. And obviously, you think about guys who are going to be flashier guards and things like that. But what he is doing for Mississippi State, filling in for Tolu Smith and more than adequately holding it down for the Bulldogs. Charlie, there's always a place for a big, strong, physical guy that knows how to use his body who will defend and rebound. There's always a place for him. Sears is in attack mode now. At this point, Sears with 18 in the ball game. Gonna walk it off a minute, but he'll get back to the free throw line. He's, he's a good player. I can see him being a tough cover at the mid major level. <laughs> nice shoes, <too. laughs> well, You know, he has the feel of a guy who could keep you into a ball game oh, yeah. just about any time. He oh, can shoot absolutely. you right into yes. any game you play. Yes. Okay, they're trying to isolate Bell down low. Muhammad did a good job of forcing Bell off the, off the block. Couldn't get it to go. Cruz will claim the board. That was good defense by Muhammad there. He forced Bell off the block, made him go manufacture a basket instead of just catching it around the rim. Good defense. Muhammad from long. Not there. DJ Jeffries got a hand in the in the way that time. Knocks it free. Bulldogs back on the offensive end. Over top. The high arcing three pointer goes. Well, Matthews was trying to put the power in power forward. <laughs> tied up, got it out to Hubbard, who knocks it down. And now he takes it away on the defensive end. The feed to Fort. Wow. The goal wanted none of that. Rejected by the iron. Muhammad, elbow, won't go. Jeffries with the board. The big fella's seen a lot of jump shots for, uh, for UT Martin. I'm sure Coach Ritter like to see him closer to the rim. So Bulldogs lead it by 20. Just over two minutes to play in the basketball game. And Chris Jans going to take a little air out of this basketball. As Jeffries wants to attack. Can't find anything, but he's going to have to shoot it. Bell with the rebound and the emphatic putback. Jimmy Bell doing what Jimmy Bell does, pressing the offensive glass for easy two. That is the sixth offensive rebound of this basketball game, making it the fifth for Bell. Twelve rebounds in the contest. And now Ford will grab the board. Hubbard with Hubbard. the heat check. Bam. And he's hot. Yes, sir. Just listen. <laughs> yep, it's still warm. Don't touch. <laughs> and now a trio of Bulldogs fight for the rebound. Jeffries has it. Ford saying, give Hubbard, it to me. Hubbard, heat check. He passed it up. Hubbard wanted to think about it. Chris Jan says, give me the timeout. <laughs> give me the timeout real quick. Josh Hubbard. 22 points. For the Bulldogs, he's 5 of 8 from 3-point range. However you do the holiday. 
What a day. Hubbard, 22 points in the ball game. Minute to play. Coach Jans will take that every night if, if, if he had to. Sears with 45 to play. No appreciable hurry. Up, under, got it to go. A little finger roll action. Able to roll that one in. So shifty. He can, he can score the basketball, man. He, he's proven that, that he, he, he can score it. See Taylor trying to get it to Stansberry to get him a look. And now Taylor, the three. Okay. Hell, he got it. There you go. Andrew Taylor getting in on the party. Well, maybe they're, 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 they're going to need him. Found the key to unlock him. Yep, yep. All it takes is to see one go in. Chris Jans telling his team to. Pull it out, hold it, run this thing down. Bulldogs are going to get the win here today. So Mississippi State able to get a win in their home opener. They beat